Hello, it's Tarvay Horsfer. You're drinking with the Horsfer. This is Halloween, and I have a zombie dust. What better beer to have on Halloween than a beer called Zombie Dust? Oh, there's some other clever name beers after that'll work, I know, but I happen to have the Zombie Dust. And I'm drinking this. Whew. Oh my gosh. Uh, because. Mr. Gene Baldy was nice enough to give this to me at our last Growlers meeting. There was, he brought two of them. There was one left, and he there was this and a gumball head. And uh, he let me let me take her home. So I did. I kept uh, things. Uh, soon after that, we had to go back up to St. Louis. And they start coming up. And when we got back, I drank the gumball head because it was a nice summer day. But oh. Oh, wow. Uh, very nice. Oh, uh, woo. Um, the gumball head, which is kind of a hoppy wheat style. Uh, but I hadn't got around to this until uh, it got moved back to the back of my fridge and realized it was there about two weeks ago. And by then, I thought, well, heck, it's this close to Halloween. I might as well save it for Halloween. Uh, I look at their website, and uh, they've got a lot of beers with... Uh, <laughs> With uh, uh, IPA-like numbers, and this is one of them, uh, 6460 six, IBUs. They call it a hoppy pale ale. They don't actually say it's an IPA, uh, and I don't think it says IPA on the bottle. It just says pale ale, yeah. Uh, 6460 are IPA numbers, but the bottle just calls it a pale ale. Uh, this is one of their very popular brews, followed by Three Floyds, Brewing LLC, Munster, Indiana. Do, 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 Anyway. See, that was the theme from the Munsters. See, that's why that was funny. Anyway, I digress. Oh, well, uh, you know, I'm not sure. I mean, if this is, if this is what they assume is a pale ale, boy, uh, what they, what they might call an IPA might be, holy crap, bitter. I mean, you know, oh. Oh. oh, more bitter than a divorced soccer mom with a bad boob job. Oh, this is very good, actually. I I, I don't know who, uh, one of my beer friends that talked about the various other three points beers said they thought this one was overrated. Um, I don't know how it's rated, because <laughs> I don't look at those other sites to check numbers uh, before I do a review. Uh, but whatever it's rated, I think it's probably worth it. This is a very fine brew. I think some people have an expectation of what things ought to taste like, or or they think a specific style ought to be uh, a, a beer like this. Maybe they were expecting it to be hoppy. I think it's I think it's just put together perfect though. Um, oh. I won't say it's balanced perfect because it's not. <laughs> it's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be balanced. It's supposed to be, I mean, the nature of the style it isn't balanced, you know. Uh, it's, it, it's not. Uh, it, it is extremely hoppy. Oh, I'm drinking it out of my mother's glass, so I hope nobody takes offense. Mother's or Three Floyds, both are fine breweries. Uh, the aroma on this is, holy crap, amazing. Um. Uh, Oh, wow. The aroma alone makes me want to pop a nutty. Oh, wow. Oh. Whew, we've had a ritual at the Mulvihill Hill House on Halloween ever since our daughter was very little. And she's 22 now, which basically is uh, after the trick-or-treating is done, uh, we come home, uh, put on a... a Halloween-esque movie. Uh, I'm not into blood and guts. So we don't usually do those types of movies, but and then we have pizza. Uh, so that's what we did. We had this is the remnants of uh, piece. of uh, <laughs> now I have to eat this piece. Shaman says this is the remnants of uh, uh, a jack o' lantern pizza from Papa Murphy's. And since I don't want to touch a piece here, this is a uh, 
if I can get it up to the idea, I don't want to dump it on the, well, hell, you're just going to have to take my word for it. It's, <laughs> it's what's left of a uh, Hawaiian pizza for Papa Murphy. So anyway, we had our pizza. Uh, we just finished our movie, actually. Uh, Zombieland. We watched Zombieland. I like, you know, more humorous. Imagine that. Those of you that, that know me are probably not surprised that I'd rather watch a, a funny movie than, uh, than Blood and Guts. But anyway. Uh, that might be a window to my psyche. Oh, wow. Mm. Did I call this a pale ale? I'm, I'm, I'm blown away by that. I, you know, <laughs> I mean, it, it certainly has IPA numbers, but they do not call it that. Uh, let me read the bottle here real quick. Um, this intensely hopped and gushing undead pale ale. Perfect for Halloween. It doesn't say that on the bottle, but damn it, it should. Uh, Pale Ale will be once only respite after the zombie apocalypse. Well, there you go. Uh, created with our marvelous friends in the comic industry, art by Tim Seeley. Well, there you go. Uh, a great beer, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, whoever said it was overrated, uh, I have to question their taste buds from here on out, because <laughs> this is a damn fine brew. Uh, then again, uh, I'm a big fan of that hoppy wheat style, and Gumball Head uh, is the best I've ever had, and I've had quite a few. Oh, the finish on this is exquisite. Uh, it starts out... It's big and bitter, but then you got just this little peppery finish right at the end. That's just, oh, holy Moses, man. Oh. Whew. Oh, I'm getting randy just thinking about it, man. Holy crap, this is good. So that's my last sip. So we're going to shut this baby down. Hey, this is Beer Whisper, and that is my one and only Halloween brew that I'm doing a video for today. Anyway, woohoo, have a happy Halloween.